Hello and welcome everyone. If you are uh, new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. Now, if you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel uh, because on this channel, I share ideas, insights, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow really fast in the software industry, then subscribe now and uh, press the bell icon. So let us begin. Sir, I have done BE electronics, but I have got a job in a QA field, quality assurance field. How can I switch my career in software development? Okay. So, um, Kedar, it's, it, first thing is that it is very good to uh, go into QA field. It is very good to go into quality assurance field. Okay. And from there transition into software development. Look, if you want to get into software development, then the most important part is that you need to know one good programming language. Okay, one good programming language. It can be either uh, .NET, it can be Java, it can be Python, okay, it can be JavaScript, it can be PHP. It depends on what programming language you want to learn. So you need to know at least one good programming language okay and the most popular programming languages are uh, in the same order of uh, uh, in the same order of popularity java is the most popular programming language has a lot of requirements today because uh, java in java you can do programming in every field so java is number 1 python is number 2 and dotnet is at number three at this point and then for web development uh, there are people in uh, php and javascript it does not matter which programming language you learn but you need to learn a programming language where you are able to build one complete application you know you are able to build one complete software application okay now since you have joined uh, as a qa you will already know the processes of a software development life cycle. Okay, how does a software get built? So while you are in QA, you learn the entire process of software development life cycle, but on the side, start learning one good programming language. Okay, uh, it is good if, if you already have a job, then it is good to do a certification because then the transition from QA to software development will become easy okay if you if you, within your company you can say that uh, in the last six months i have learned this particular programming language preferably learn the programming language which is in use within your company if you want to transition within your company from qa to software development okay if you are not uh, if you are interested in some particular programming language which your company is not using then you do the certification and once you learn the programming language really well at that point you will have to leave your job and find another job where that particular programming language is in demand okay and don't worry about uh, which programming language to learn learn the programming language which you already know maybe you have learned it in college or you know a little bit about it and enhance your expertise in that particular pro programming language i would suggest to do a certification because in certification it will become easier for you to get a job that uh, you can show your certificate and tell people that now you know this particular programming language you can build applications so you are more qualified okay and use your quality assurance uh, work as a stepping stone. Tell everybody that, look, because I was in quality assurance, I know exactly how to build a software. I know exactly what the users need for a software. So it is very good to be in quality assurance and then go into software development. Like I went from support into software development. So I was on, on a, a software support role that was my first job and from there I went into software development for 18 months I was just doing software support but because I went from software support to software development I understood exactly what the customers needed 
for a software. I was able to build a really good software because I understood the requirements of customers really well. Okay, so that is a big advantage that you have that you're going from QA into software development, but it's a slow process. You will have to give three months, six months. Sometimes you have to give one year, okay, to learn a particular programming language really well, to learn a basic plus advanced so, so that you get into a software company. Okay, so that is a that is a clear path. It's all about deciding what goal you have. And then once you decide the goal, once you decide that, okay, this is exactly what kind of uh, software programming language I want to learn, then it is all about going and getting that goal, going step by step, every day spending one hour, two hour, uh, learning the programming language, doing a project on a programming language, okay? So if you do a particular project and that project is end to end, then you can showcase your project on GitHub or some other uh, repository and then uh, create some application which you can show to people and say that, look, I know programming, I can do programming and I'm coming from here from Quality Assurance. So I'm a better programmer and now I want to get into software development. That is a very easy part to get into uh, software development. Okay. So I hope that this video is useful to you. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, okay? And uh, uh, share these videos as much as possible. Thank you very much. Stay focused, stay rich, and see you in the next video.